I'm sitting here with uh, Greg Littman, WCCO, um, and a blogger, a Minnesota blogger. Hey, yo. And uh, so we want to talk about your blogging. And first, let's start off with uh, how did you, why did you start blogging? How did you come to blogging? Started blogging, it's, all, it, it's pretty much an extension of my social media, particularly my Twitter. Um, that I think when I got involved in Twitter um, and started voicing my opinions in 140 characters um, and voicing them with a number of people who blog mm -hmm. and frequently about other blogs, um, that probably got me at least interested in the idea that sometimes 140 characters isn't long enough um, and that a good way to communicate with that group of people who I like an awful lot and like communicating with an awful lot the best vehicle may very well be a blog. Right. Uh, that's interesting. Uh, there's some people are saying when Twitter came out and became really popular, and then uh, Facebook uh, with the status updates there, uh, argue that the blogs are sort of dying out. The blogging is is becoming a, a archaic type of uh, communications vehicle. What do you what do you think of that? I don't think so. I don't. I don't think. I I I hate any of these either or kinds of things. When you start talking about the flavor of the month, it starts to reflect to me that you don't understand that these are tools and channels. It starts treating them like this tool or channel can do everything, right. and it can't. So I think they all interrelate, and I, I think that they all have their own purposes. Um, and I, I, blogging would be very different if you didn't have Twitter and Facebook to help distribute right. them. But on the other hand, if you only had Twitter and Facebook, you wouldn't have things to link to that frequently are the anchors of those conversations. Right. And so I think it all works together. I don't right. see an end to, I don't see one taking over for any of the yeah, others. Yeah, yeah. So tell me more about your blog. What, what do you blog about? What, what, how do people find it? What do you talk about? <laughs> I call it thoughts and theories from my corner of the newsroom and that's literally what it is. Uh, it tends to be about communication strategy and communication. I'm really interested in audiences. Uh, I, I work at WCCO TV and um, my understanding of audiences both in sports um, and then in news I think is the reason that I've been successful, that I'm pretty good at understanding what the audience wants, tailoring a message to them and then delivering it. So frequently I will see either good or bad examples of that and be inspired to share what I think, um, particularly because in this community that I try, that I kind of write for, I really respect the opinions of the other folks. It's frequently that I want to put together my opinions, crystallize them as well as possible, and then see what people have to say. Right, so uh, for me, blogging is often uh, a, a, an extension of my thought process, or part and parcel of my thought process. Sounds sort of like that's the way it is for you. It is, although it's probably best because um, I, I, I post infrequently, you know, about once a month, uh, and I tend to work on them, work on them, work on them, really trying to, because I'm trying to take my thought process and see what my peers think about it, I wait until it's right or I get rid of it before it before I ever post it. Right. So I almost shouldn't call them blogs, I should just call them posts. Yeah. They're not weblogs <laughs> in any way. Uh, they're posts on what my thoughts are right. um, and seeking other people's thoughts about them. Right. Um, so what do you do? What do you do at WCC? I'll talk a little bit about your... I am the senior producer of news and sports WCCO TV. I worked my way up through the sports department um, and was the sports director up until a couple of years ago um, when we added news to my title and to my responsibilities um, and I've sort of fluctuated on what I've done from news show producing to some special projects depending on where the need lies. Uh, right now, what we're attempting to do, at least, is to have me concentrate on something in the six that we call the flip side with Jason Derusha. Um, we're struggling to get it on as many days as we would like, but we want it to be the signature piece in the six o'clock, um, sort of the way the good question is the signature piece in the ten. Mm -hmm. um, and when we put it on, I'm, I'm pretty proud of it. All right, all right. Um, how does working in such a visually oriented and a dynamic medium, you know, uh, of film, um, how does that inform your blogging? Does it all, or is it an entirely different kind of communications vehicle? It's a different communication vehicle. Um, 
I see them as very different. I work on a different pace. In TV, I'm working on a quick deadline. TV, I'm, write, I'm writing scripts that are complementary to video, um, and they are for um, a very specific and very broad audience. Um, my blogging, like I say, it, I view it as an extension of my Twitter community more than anything. Right. So I'm writing for a very specific audience that's very interested and attuned to communication. I'm writing it without a specific deadline. Right. I'm writing it on a much longer timeline frequently. Um, and because I don't have video to be complimentary, I'm writing it different stylistically too. Have you thought of incorporating video into your blogging? I haven't because um, in many regards I think that the internet, um, I, I think that the internet exists in some regard for searchable, searchable uh -huh. text. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I think that the ability to see everything in front of you and go right to it right. is one of the great advantages of the internet. Sure. Um, so that. I would not do web blogs, um, video web blogs. I wouldn't just get in front of a camera and say what I felt. For starters, I would end up spending just as much time scripting it. <laughs> um, and secondly, I don't think that that's as effective. I think that video exists for to do highly produced videos, or at least highly directed videos right. um, that show people something or take them to something. Right, more of a storytelling you know. Exactly. Yeah. Um, what has been your biggest surprise so far in blogging? Oh, probably how interested I am in reaction. Um, how much time it takes even to maintain. Right. You know, it's like once I do after 47 revisions post it, then I'm interested to see how many times it gets retweeted. I'm interested to yep. see how many hits it gets. Yep. I'm interested to see who comments on it, who likes it, who comments um, because they're a nice guy <laughs> and want to show me the respect of commenting, but it's clear that they weren't really, um, that they didn't really embrace yep. the topic. Um, and it probably shouldn't surprise me because like I say, everything I always do is oriented towards the audience. Right, right, right. And the, the blogging gives me so many more opportunities for direct feedback, particularly mm -hmm. from a much larger portion of my specific audience right. than when I'm doing a TV story for 200,000 people um, and get feedback from two or three that I know. Right. Here I'm trying to reach a couple thousand people total and I get feedback through forms of retweeting, through forms of page views, mm -hmm. through comments from a nice percentage of those people. Right, right, right. that's fascinating. So um, what tips would you give to somebody uh, deciding to start blogging? Write, write frequently. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't wait as long between posts <laughs> as I do. Don't be a perfectionist on your posts <laughs> like I am. Uh, but most importantly, just start and do it. Yep. So, uh, what's the, the website of your what's your, what's your address? It's uh, how do people find you? <laughs> I'm on WordPress.com, <laughs> and I don't know the search Greg Littman. <laughs> search Greg Littman and WordPress.com, right. and and uh, you'll you'll get to me. And your Twitter account? What's your Twitter handle? I am at gr Littman. All right. Thank you for taking the time. Thank you.